In this screencast, we're going to show you how to take data points collected in lab and how to graph them, how to calculate slope, how to calculate the y-intercept, and the correlation value. When you have your data values, I do recommend that you group them from smallest to largest. Pay attention to the exponents. This is being done on an Excel version done on a MacBook. So if you're using a PC or other device, it may look slightly different. You want to, first of all, after the data is entered, is to highlight it by clicking and dragging. You will then go to Insert, and you will choose Recommended Charts. Because we are anticipating a line graph, you want to go with the Scatter option, which does come up here conveniently. If it does not, then you could continue to scroll down until you see the version of a graph you need. You will notice that we do have some information here in terms of absorbance, but we will go back and work on title in our graph. Now that we have our graph done, we are going to calculate slope. So I'm going to label this cell slope. And when we do formulas in Excel, they do need to start with the equal mark. So I'm going to equal and I begin to type in slope. It recognizes it and I will put a parentheses after it so it knows what values. With slope it is rise over run which is the y values over the x values. In this case your y values are going to be your second one. You will then highlight the column that you want to count for your y values. We'll drag to the very end in this case cells B2 through B6. I then want to give it the run values, the x values, which are going to be a1 through a6. I will close that and hit enter, and then it will calculate slope. We will then calculate the y-intercept. Again, because this is a formula, we will start off with equals. Type in the word intercept. It finds it. We will begin with that parentheses, and again, it's telling us to go through the y values and the known x's. So I'll begin with y's, comma, to switch it over to my x's, close the parentheses, and my y-intercept in this case would be 0 0.04. The last thing we're going to do is calculate the correlation value. If you remember, that tells us how closely related the value is in terms of those data points being linear. The closer that value is to positive or negative 1, the more linear the data is. So I will start off with any Excel formula as before with equal. Start type in correlation, which comes up as Corel. And just like before, I will do my Y's, comma, X's, close the parentheses. And in terms of this, I get a 0.993 value, which is a very good correlation value. And so I would say this data does a great job of being very linear in its relationship. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to your professor.